Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video. This video is going to be about putting tires on Ratchet, but I wanted to give us a little bonus section and see if the wife is going to be able to climb into Ratchet because since Ratchet doesn't have any doors, um, he's not the easiest thing in the world to get into. The way that I get in is I step on here and then I grab here and here. Okay, yeah. come on up. Put my leg in, bend in like this, and then this foot, I just grab it and I pull it in. Okay? Yes, put a hand up there. Yeah. Over here. Nope, nope. Put that foot, yeah. I put that in. Wow. He's okay. I can't believe you got in there. That was actually. I didn't think you'd be able to. To make the bend through here. All right, now um, take this foot and just kind of pull it up and push it through here. And then, uh, yeah, usually I grab that end here. And get your foot on there. All right, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I thought that that was going to be a lot more entertaining. I thought she would totally struggle with that, but actually she almost got in there easier than I do, which is kind of weird. So regardless, let's get on to the actual video. So Mahler here has 33 by 10 and a half tires on the rear. They're on the uh, traditional Volkswagen wide five wheels. So they're 15 inch wheels. And I wanted that same look for Ratchet because I think that look I think the 33s with the 31s up front on Mahler look really, really good. Now Ratchet's a little bit bigger. My, my end game for him is 33 inch tires on the front and 33, 34, 35, it'll depend on how the engine behaves with uh, different tire sizes on the back of Ratchet. I do like having the back tires a little bit bigger than the fronts, but since I haven't really decided, I've been reluctant to spend the cash, which would be about probably around $800, if not more, for a full set of tires for Ratchet here. And that's a little bit hard to do if I don't know exactly what size I'm going to go with. Now, if you've been watching these videos, you know that I've designed him with Toyota 4Runner hubs. And because of that, I got a set of Toyota. These are Toyota Tacoma, but they've got the same bolt pattern. So I've got 16 inch Toyota Tacoma wheels for Ratchet. So for one reason or another, I, I was noticing that there's, there's actually less options for a 33, 33 inch size tire on the 16 inch wheels. And bear in mind, I want a 33 inch tire, but I don't want it like 12 inches wide. I don't want it to be super wide. There's more options if I go like 11 and a half to 12 and a half inches wide, but the ones on uh, Mahler are 10 and a half, so I wanted to stay around there. So the one size that I did find that seemed like it would work was a 255-85 R16. Now that 255-85 R16 is not a real popular size, but what I was doing is just browsing Craigslist and seeing if any decent ones popped up. And so the other day I was checking it out and I found these four 255-85 and they are Cooper Discoveries, or Discoverer, whatever that is. Um, and it's basically an all-terrain tire. And uh, this guy was selling them, and they have what what I would say 30% tread left. They don't they don't have a lot, but they're not bald. And he was selling all four of them for $140. Which, when I saw that, I'm like, you know what? If for 140 bucks, I can get four of these and put them on ratchet that will allow me to kind of see how it looks that'll help me design the one piece front end that'll help me finish designing the rear suspension including the rear fenders that'll that'll really help me move forward with a lot of things on this it'll even get me to the point where the chassis will be a roller it'll even get to the point where i can drive it and then at that point if i decide this is the size i want i'll maybe buy some new ones for the front maybe i'll get some for the rear Maybe I'll decide I want something bigger. I don't know. It just, for $140, I didn't want to walk away from it because that'll buy me a lot of time. So anyways, in this video, 
I'm going to uh, throw a couple of wheels in here and I'm going to bolt them on the front, see how that looks. And I'll put one of them on the rear here so we can see how the track width lines up with the front and just get an idea of how that tire looks. You know, if it, is it pushed out enough? Is it in too far? I'm, I'm really not sure. It's going to depend on the offset of that wheel. So uh, let's, I think I'm going to take these out into the backyard where it's nice and sunny and pop some of these wheels in here and see what we got. All right, so I don't know if you guys could tell from that video of me out in the backyard, but me getting these tires onto these wheels manually was not working, which kind of surprised me because I put the wheels on all of Mahler's, I put the tires on all of Wal, uh, that's a tongue twister. I put the tires on all of Mahler's wheels without any problem. I was able to just boop, pop them right on. So I kind of thought the same would happen with these, but they were not going on. I couldn't even get them close. So. After I struggled with that for a while out in the backyard and got aggravated, then I called up some local tire places and there's a tire places around by me which are called Big O Tires and they will put used tires onto wheels because most of the places I called, they wouldn't put used tires onto wheels, but Big O Tires would. So I brought the tires to them, it's $21 a piece and they'll put them on the wheels. So I had them do that. So now I got all four tires onto the wheels. So I'm going to mount the two front ones and I'm gonna mount the one rear one. Nothing I can do with the other rear because there's no suspension back there yet. But uh, I'm gonna mount these up and then we'll see how they look. So I would imagine at this point in the game, if you've been watching my videos on Ratchet here, you're getting sick and tired of me saying, this is awesome, I love this. But I got news for you, you're about to hear it one more time, because look at these tires. This looks awesome. These look so damn good on here. <laughs> I mean, they're used tires and all that, but I think the size, specifically on the front, I think the front for these, let's call them, let's call them 33 10 and a halfs. They're, they're 255, 85, 16s, but they measure out to 33 by 10 and a half. I think they fill this up really, really well. They look good in the backs too. The back of Mahler is squatting a little bit, so it's hard to visualize what they're really gonna look like. Uh, I think they look pretty good, but I do wish these were a little bit larger than the fronts, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with these probably till the uh, build is up and rolling. So I better get used to them. But as far as the fronts on here, I think these look, I think they look really good, really, and they they fit in here like they just their size just fits well with the suspension. The control arms no longer look like they're way overbuilt or anything like that. Once you get these larger tires up here. Everything kind of looks, you know, to scale. And um, everything clears when you turn them, which is amazing because, you know, some of this I designed without the tires. The cut in on the control arm here clears plenty, but, you know, it's just got enough. So that's, that's cool. Just from a design wise, everything seems to pack in there really, really well. So I'm real happy with that, obviously. I can't stop talking about it. So that's it for this video, guys. Not a huge video, although it did actually take a week because by the time I lowered the trailer and went, picked up the tires, wrestled with them in the backyard, and then had to bring them 
to the tire shop to get them mounted and then bring them in here and play with them. It actually feels like a decent amount of work, but for a video, there's not really much to it. But I felt like it was a big enough step that I wanted to put it in a video because it kind of feels like it was a really big step for Ratchet because now he's got so much more of a of a look like what he's what his finished product is going to be and it really getting tires on here really is something that I needed to get done. I've been I've been searching for tires for about 2 months knowing that I was getting to a point where I needed tires so that I could see how much compression I could have where I needed to make the fenders and all sorts of stuff like that. So even though I got used tires, it only cost me 140 bucks. And like I said earlier, this will really allow me to do a lot of stuff, basically all the way up until it's running before I actually figure out what tires I'm going to get. So as usual, thanks for watching the video. I hope these videos are helping you guys with whatever you're working on. And I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.